my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Pat Players. If you wish me a specific, and welcome back once again to a Boruto Naruto Next Generation. Little bit of an update from the last episode that was released yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna continue trying to do these every single Thursday. Obviously, not one of the biggest things on the channel, but I like doing it for you guys because literally, I'm a, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the anime a little bit. And I want to keep talking to you guys about it and get your insights about it. See how you guys like it and everything. Because it's kind of cool seeing this new Naruto thing, you know? So, it's been going on for about two months now. This is eight, episode 8, so we got 8 weeks so far. So, uh, maybe like, like close to two months. Close to two months. Like a little bit, a little bit off. But it's been going on for a little bit now. So... What do you guys think of the show so far? I'll be making an episode when it goes to like 10, hopefully, as long as I remember. Uh, episode 10, I'll be like, um, do like a review of everything so far. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this episode, we got to see some bad stuff. Finally, we got to see some juicy bad things that actually might happen, that people are actually in danger. Um, it's actually a little bit different for Borto, because Borto's been all about the, uh, happy-go-lucky stuff where everybody's like, yay, everything's good, we're in school, everything's peaceful, everything's just fantastic, and I'm having fun becoming a ninja, and becoming a ninja is be having fun with your friends. That's exactly what this anime has been doing so far, but this time we actually got to see some juicy stuff, and we got to see some bad stuff. I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter too much, I kind of figured it didn't really matter in the end anyways, but, oh yeah, also... If you haven't seen this episode, make sure to uh, pause this video and go watch the episode and come back because I don't want to spoil anything for you. These guys, these videos are all about spoilers, so obviously if you don't know anything about the spoilers, don't, if you, you want to get upset about spoilers, don't watch it. Pretty simple. You guys have been pretty good about that anyways, but I just wanted to remind it for people who are just coming in. So, yeah, um... We got to see some bad stuff. Shino went absolutely rampant because he's got the purple aura of despair and sadness all around him. Uh, he finally went absolutely crazy. We got to see actually some some skills from Shino that we haven't seen in a while. So, kind of interesting. The, he's got all his insects and everything like that. It's crazy, ridiculous insects that everybody finds disgusting. But he's still good. He's still, he's still pretty good. Um... Like, uh, he's fighting, he's fighting everybody, and Shino is just absolutely destroying them. I mean, obviously, it's, ki they're kids. They're kids, they're not gonna be able to, like, master their jutsus, because Shino's got, like, the, uh, got, like, the skills of a joning. So, obviously, they, like, those kids have no chance as to beating, um, Shino by themselves. There's no way that they can do that, but... Uh, they keep fighting around, they keep trying to make plans, see what the heck is going on. Mitsuki is acting very, very strange during this whole entire time, as you could probably tell from this. He's, like, asking Boruto about the purple aura, he's, like, trying to see if, like, he could test them and things like that, because I think Mitsuki is pretty much, I don't know if he's the cause of it, but at least he knows what the cause is. Like, I don't know, I don't think that he is the actual cause of the purple aura. I don't really think that he's the cause of it. I just think he knows what the purple aura is, who does it, and what it does, and he's just playing around with it. Like, he kind of, and he's, like, using it. It's gotta be, like, maybe it's something like an Orochimaru type thing, because, I mean, the first episode when we saw it, it was a freaking snake bite uh, inside of Deku, so, so like, uh, Denki, uh, that's his name. Um, it was a snake bite on top of him. The rest of them have been kind of like wolfy stuff, but the first one was like a snake bite on top of him, which is just, it just screams over Jumaru up in here. So obviously people are speculating that. I think it's an Orochimaru, or at least somebody doing some more, um, working with Orochimaru because Mizuki would be so like passive about this if he didn't realize it now during this whole thing uh, Shino is actually going around trying to kill everybody which obviously leads to some like some sadness kind of weird even though like he has the um ability to like he his his mindset is just like I'm gonna kill everybody blah 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 he doesn't really actually hurt anybody he said he sixes 
um, bugs on Boruto and everything like that. Boruto's almost covered with bugs, but Mizuki blows him away with some air style, some wind style of ability. Um, but like, the bugs really don't do much. Um, I know that the bugs are, I don't know exactly, like, exactly what the bugs do, because the bugs are supposed to hurt. Like, if you're insecting like, parasites onto people, they should hurt. But his bugs only eat only ate chakra that's the only thing that the bugs did it just ate chakra so it makes me wonder if like he had some sort of control while he was in it he didn't set out like the bugs like he didn't do his summoning jutsus or anything like that he did at the end after he wasn't uh snapped anymore but he could have done like a summoning jutsu brought in his like giant beetle bug and just absolutely tear he could have done that but he didn't he just resorted to um, evasive moves with bugs, basically just spewing them out everywhere and just trying to like make his presence look terrifying as possible. So they were saying also that inside the anime that um, he because he was like losing it, he's going rampant, meaning he's not really conserving his chakra. And that's how they basically got him at the end because like they realized that like the, he just like used up all his chakra because he's just literally he's not walking around at all he's just flying around with bugs and that obviously takes up chakra so clearly clearly uh it's, he wasn't like himself so it's kind of weird just thinking that i don't know i'm just thinking about that that like he could have easily killed him but he didn't I don't know why. I don't know why he did that. But um, at the end, they're they're fighting around. Everything's going everything's going bad, and then um, they make a plan where Boruto um, and uh, Shikamaru's son gets a little bit captured, and then Mizuki does like his little arm thing, like his Orochimaru snake arm thing, wraps them and lightning styles uh, Shido inside of the water while he's doing some bugs because basically he's she is just releasing all these bugs which means his pores are all open because that's how he releases the bugs is because he's got like certain like stuff on his skin that like lets the bugs come out and then he just lightnings straight into there which obviously is not the best thing also mizuki um almost drowns boruto runs in there almost drowns and then gino gets up uh, just before does a summoning jutsu and gets them all out and they're all dead now at the end um, They all gather together at the uh, medical the medical room and They do all their apologizing and stuff like that Also during this you find out that uh, Mitsuki is like really happy about Boruto because uh, From a few episodes previously remember that like actually I think it's two episodes ago now. No yet yeah, last episode um, he was talking to his snake buddy and he was just like i need to find out if he is my son s-u-n not s-o-n s-u-n and he i guess he thinks that Bor that boruto is his quote-unquote son i don't know what that means i'm just meaning that i guess that just means when they say son kind of means like they're like life they're like happiness that sort of stuff maybe i don't know but he found that and um yeah, so hopefully, oh, well, uh, I wonder what that means. He seems all happy, but uh, he, but he looks and he doesn't look like he's gonna be like uh, capturing Boruto or anything like that. So, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> but uh, during this too, she know, um, she knows she's gonna say that he's gonna resign being a teacher, blah blah blah, and everybody's like, no, you, no one, no one got hurt. You don't gotta do this, and they're just like. Hey, but you're an awesome, awesome ninja, uh, Shino. You, you're freaking cool. And then, like, Shino breaks down. <laughs> and it's all sad. Also, the next scene is, um, he's actually talking to Naruto, which we haven't seen Naruto and Shikamaru in quite some time. We have not seen him. Also, Shikamaru's model, in my opinion, is the way that they draw him is just freaking cool. I love how he is in, uh, when he's older. He looks cool. He looks exactly like his dad, but, like, he looks cool. Um, but... They're up there, Shino is just like, I might want to resign as a teacher, and Naruto's just like, nah, you're not doing that. Thank you for taking care of my sons and everything. But the next part is that they talk about the purple aura thing, and they're just like, well, something clearly is happening around the uh, the village, and we need to do something about it. So they're finally cracking down as to what this is, which then can lead to bigger and better things. I mean, obviously, I don't think that this purple aura is like, whoever's causing it, the purple aura is not 
their number one move. There's definitely, like, the purple aura is just, like, a thing that they just sent off, just to send off, like, a little chaos here and there. It's no way that, like, the purple aura is the only thing that guy's got. So, once they find out the, who the purple aura dude is, they're, it's gonna be some sort of, like, big fight, I think. And I wonder if it's gonna be the adults doing it, or if it's gonna be the kids doing it. I'm going to guess, because it's about the kids, it's gonna be the kids doing it. But, who knows? We could see, and then, the, and then, um... Naruto and, and the gang come in and stuff. We still haven't seen uh, Sasuke and Sakura this entire anime. We haven't even seen them at all. There's so many people. We, we haven't even seen Kakashi at all. Like, I just thought about that because Kakashi's in the beginning, like with all the teachers and everything like that. We haven't seen Kakashi at all. We haven't seen my boy. My boy Kakashi. Um, yeah, because he's my favorite Naruto character. Even though people say that I go back and forth between Sasuke and Kakashi. Right now, it's Kakashi. We haven't seen Kakashi in quite some time, so like... I don't know, even though he's not the copycat ninja anymore, I mean, I'm assuming that he probably still knows a few tricks up his sleeves. He could still make dogs spawn out of nowhere, so he's could, he could do that. And then he knows how to do a lightning blade and things, so he could, he could be... He could be useful still, but yeah, so I'm very I want I'm very excited to see what else happens uh, Regarding this because they're showing off in the next episode that uh, well, it's about um, Choji's daughter and how she's like being all nervous or something like that There's something is making them all nervous, but it looks like it's kind of like a light-hearted episode It just looks like something kind of funny, but there's also there's also a scene where all the adults are together thinking about what it could be and things i mean that scene could be like literally two minutes long and they just put it in there but at least it's in there there's going to be more talk as to what the adults are doing about this whole um about this whole purple aura thing because clearly it's a problem and they need to stop it because the because the leaf village is a peaceful village that is a scientific discovery village so obviously they want to keep it that way so yeah that was this episode. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this episode so far. How how you think about the anime so far? In my opinion, oh yeah, and also again, animation seems to be pretty good. It doesn't seem to be um anything seems to be bad or anything. The bugs. One thing though that I am saying, I just realized they really like that squish effect. If you listen every single time that uh every single time the bugs hit the ground, that's they really like that. That squish effect is so common in Naruto. That's like when people make new arms. When Madara made his eye in the beginning. Like literally everything is that sound effect. Get a new sound effect. That's the only thing I have criticism for. Um, because I'm like, so your bug squishing against the ground had the same sound effect of Madara making an eye on his forehead. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. Also, ripping people's eyes out have that sound effect. So, like, anything that's just gush and just bleh, it makes that sound effect. It's weird. But whatever. Uh, let me know that in the comments below what you think of this episode. Pretty solid. Once again, pretty solid episode. I like it. Um, I'm excited to see what comes out. I say that, like, episode, every episode. But I'm excited to see what comes up uh, for this. And I'm excited to see how long this anime is. I mean, as long as the anime continues, I'll be still making these weekly videos. Um, even if they're like the, the, even if they're, um, what's it called? Uh, if they're, uh, filler episodes, I'll still do them because I mean, Naruto did like a whole year of filler doing the Tachi's thing. So clearly, um, we, we've, we might have that coming up. People weren't very, very thrilled with that, but we might have that come up. But on that note, everybody, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining me once again, and I will be seeing you. Hey, ta, ta, ta. Yes. Squish. Literally, it's the same sound effect from everything.